Hello everyone, this is Fire Centaur coming to you live from the virtual world in Second Life. And I'm standing here in the Avatar classroom. And today I want to show you how you can take a YouTube video and bring it into Second Life. But what I'm also going to show you is I'm going to, I'm going to show you how to make this YouTube video um, so that it doesn't automatically start playing when an avatar comes into view. We're going to set the autoplay to false. So let me show you how to do that. It's quite easy. First of all, you have to be using uh, Viewer 2 because Viewer 2s can um, will show shared media, a website on a prim, and a Viewer 1 won't. So make sure you've got Second Life's uh, Viewer 2 um, open. And next, what we're going to do is we're going to build a prim. So I'm just going to right-click the ground and choose Build. Then I'm going to hold down the Shift and Control key so I get my size selectors here. And I'm just going to stretch this prim uh, a little bit bigger. And then I'm going to continue to hold down the Shift and Control key and just make it so it's not so wide. Okay, so now we've got our prim here in Second Life. I'm just going to move this over here. And I'll just rotate it around for us. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, with the edit box, box open, I'm going to click on Select Face. Then I'll select the front face and I'll click on the Texture tab. Now down below you'll see that it says Media and there's a plus sign. This is where we're going to put in uh, your YouTube URL. So before we press uh, the plus sign, actually you can press it now, um, we're going to go to YouTube and grab a video. So let's go do that now. So when you're viewing your YouTube page, what you want to do is you want to click on the Share tab and then click on the Embed Options. This will generate a bunch of embed code for you to embed on a website. But we're going to put this on our prim. So right click and copy it. And I'm going to paste this um, first actually into my Evernote. I use Evernote a lot for, for making notes. And you'll notice it's an iframe. So it says iframe, it gives you a width and a height, and then this is the source URL of your video. And then there's a few parameters. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to add another parameter called autoplay. So just type in autoplay, all lowercase, put equals, and then quotation and zero. At the beginning of the iframe, type in data, colon, text slash HTML and then a comma. And that's all you need to have this to display properly on a prim. So now let's copy this into Second Life and we're going to paste it into the URL portion of the shared media. And now I'm going to select a few more properties. You can turn auto zoom on if you want and then press OK. And there it is. There's your media um, on a prim, your YouTube on a prim, without um, it automatically playing from the beginning. And this is useful because if you have several of these screens um, in your scene, you don't want to have all these videos playing at once. Now, if the user wants to play this, they can just come up and press, click on it, and it will play at their leisure. Now, you'll notice that this is, uh, that this video is not scaled properly. So you're going to want to adjust this uh, scaling. So to do that, again, right click and choose Edit, choose Select Face, click on the face, and now you can adjust this uh, repeats per face, horizontal and vertical. So we're just going to subtract it down to 0.4, and then we're going to also going to have to set it, center it. So you're going to have to play with these dials a little bit to get it just perfect. There we go. Okay, and there you have it. You've got YouTube on a prim with autoplay set to false. So some of you may be wondering, what is an avatar classroom? Well, essentially, the avatar classroom is a virtual 3D classroom that makes teaching in Second Life a little bit easier. What we've done is we've created a reser, which allows you to create your own scenes and position different objects within those scenes and save them for resing at any time you like. The Avatar Classroom is connected to a Moodle website, which runs off of the avatarclassroom.com domain. Once you sign up, we'll automatically create you your own Moodle website and give you an Avatar Classroom, which once resed 
will automatically connect to the Moodle website we create for you. This is kind of cool because now you can get your students to come to the registration area, sign up to your class, participate in different activities like in our presentation room there's a presenter where you can give presentations or your students can give presentations simply by uploading their slides to your Moodle website and also participate in discussions using the web intercom and using web intercom we will save all of your chats to your Moodle to your Moodle website and if they like they can also take quizzes by going up to the fourth floor and sitting on a quiz chair the cool thing is, is we've actually connected this quiz chair to the scoreboard, so students can have real competitions when answering uh, when answering the questions. Thanks for watching this tutorial video. I hope you find it useful. Bye for now. This is Fire Centaur signing off.